Deep in the shadows, I know it's hard to put one foot in front of the other. Hi everyone, Sweet Chronicles here, back again with another fragrance video. If you're new here, guys, I post fragrance-related content on this platform and would very much appreciate it if you did consider joining us by subscribing. Now, to those who are returning, thank you so much for the continued support. Kindly check out my second channel, Sea Chronicles Unscripted, where I feature my life outside fragrance reviews. I'm going to drop the link of that channel in the description for ease of reference. And if you'd love to contribute towards the purchases of some of the fragrances on this channel, you can go ahead and do so on my PayPal link, which you will find also in the description box. Reason why I created that link, guys, is because of geographic location. I do not have a thank you button. Sponsorships, affiliate links, links or paid partnerships. Welcome to today's video. Today we have a Maison Alhambra Precious Gold. I did unbox this fragrance with you on my second channel, guys. And this is a clone of Marc Jacobs Perfect Intense. Uh, they did put the pendant there. They tried to do the whole nine yards. Uh, and this is their rendition of it, guys. So I'm going to spray this one in its box. And then obviously we're going to get into it. This fragrance, guys, inspired by Marc Jacobs Perfect Intense, is your white and yellow floral, but mostly focusing on the yellow, your yellow floral there. What you're going to get, guys, is a concoction that feels woody, nutty, almondy there. I get an overload or an aggressive nuttiness there, you know, uh, sitting on a bed of a floral that feels damp. And I think it is that floral, guys, that kind of makes this one come off as screechy. So do expect like a screechy mishmash or tug, pull and whatever tussle there in the opening. And this is something that's going to hold on, guys, for at least an hour or two. The Narcissus flower in this fragrance is doing the most. Now, Narcissus is a flower, uh, depending on the doses, uh, can do the most. But what happens is if it overpowers everything, it then presents all the notes as wet, humid, damp, that sort of thing. So that's what you're going to get from this. To an extent, some of, some of you guys are going to uh, you know, find this one leaning a bit green. You know, it's just because of that Narcissus flower. Wrapping up that uh, what would have been a perfect almond nuttiness, mishmashing it with its... Uh, underlying, you know, humid uh, core. This, this is not like a distinct sort of flower that you can describe where, say, I can come and say, oh, this is gardenia is like this and like this, or tuberose is creamy or what. Now, this just tends to put this hay-like damp accord to everything. Now, if the other notes are tamed or have a tendency of coming across as just polite, which is what, you know, nutty notes tend to do, it can kind of bully everything. And that is what I get from this fragrance, guys. It is that damp presentation of everything, that hay-like, even tobacco-leaning presentation, mixing with like a woody tone there. And what is, to my nose, so much of a sweet fragrance that just presents as quite heady to an extent, making this one a fragrance I cannot class as a favorite. Now, when I did uh, come, when I came to you guys with uh, Yaramoa, and I was trying hard to explain my thoughts on that, a lot of you guys dropped in the comment section that Yaramoa was inspired by Marc Jacobs' Perfect Intense. And I kept on saying, no, 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 because... My Yaramoa, first of all, is spoiled, okay, but why I am bringing up uh, Yaramoa in this conversation or in this review is I do get semblance of Yaramoa in this, but this doesn't come across as spoiled to me. It just comes across as that's exactly what it should have been. And because I have sniffed Marc Jacobs' Perfect Intense, I'm going to class this fragrance as one that has that DNA, but kind of, you know, is on the 50% mark there. This is a bit screechy, and some of you will agree that Mark Jacobs' Perfect Intense is screechy. But with this, I feel it misses the mark as well on the sweetness. It could have been a tad bit sweeter. Maybe that would have rounded off those notes to make them a little bit pleasant, okay? And this is going by my nose, guys. If you absolutely love this fragrance, you know, good for you. I am just explaining it the best way I can. That to my nose, it comes across as mishmashed, clusher notes. That Narcissus doing the most. 
and holding on there for a good almost two hours after which then it relents and then these other you know notes try to then make way or present the way they should like you will get the almond in it that's going to hold on to the from start to finish but this almond tone or the nutty tone starts to shine in its distinctness after about two hours which is quite a good weight you know if you're wearing a fragrance for you to wait that long and then the jasmine also tries to then come or then starts to kind of make an appearance but it is after this you know hay like wrap up bully of a note that would have done the most for at least two hours there making this one heady making this one a bit woody making this one very difficult to describe it is certainly a dna that i'm going to class as unisex and absolutely so because this does not have a distinct personality that i can say this is affiliated with masculine sense no it's a, a fragrance affiliated with feminine sense it's not sweet enough to call feminine it's not floral enough to call girly because of how muffled the florals come across it's not uh crisp you know enough to say it's going to be masculine so it's it's just going to be up to whether you like nutty toned fragrances with a woody wrap up there and a humid feel or a humid weight to them which is a strange way guys to uh explain a fragrance but this is the best i can when it comes to this but if you love my mark jacobs perfect i'm pretty sure you can maybe look past that the plus to this guys in as much as i've said a lot that is on the negative side the plus is going to be the lasting power this thing is very heady that presentation of all those notes weighing in very thick and very heavy there gives this one a lasting power guys enough to you know hold on to the next wash so if you're the sort of person that is after value for money fragrances or fragrances that will do the most uh in terms of longevity then this is going to be one of them weather wise or season if you come from cold weather climates or cooler weather this could be a fragrance that might actually work out to be uh you know just the perfect fragrance that you needed so yeah guys it could be a tad bit sweeter if you ask me compared to the original mark jacobs perfect intense because i have smelled that one uh, the other one i'm looking out for is the regular one because they gave us precious gold and then they gave us precious pick which is a fragrance inspired by the regular uh, mark jacobs perfect so uh when i went back to look for the precious pink they said they didn't have that one so as soon as that one stocks i would love to bring it here and see uh you know if they nailed that one now am i saying they did not nail this one no i'm not saying that i i do get a squishiness even from the original but i'm just saying in this one guys i think the narcissus flower is doing the most here and for some it's going to be where you start and you end where you just can't get past that and remember i sometimes bring fragrances here where i say i'll spray them two hours before you wear them and then uh, you know after that uh, you know the fragrance would have toned down and whatever this just keeps that nutty wrap up you know and that underlying uh, you know dampness there is gonna hold on but you know though it's gonna last another two hours it just has that kind of like a, a uniform type of linear thing that just tones down a little bit giving way just a little bit you know to the jasmine there and maybe trying to give way just a little bit to the nuttiness but it is just one of those fragrances that if you just don't dig it from the beginning you may just want to pass on even that trick of spraying it two hours before you wear your clothing because it might turn out to be one of those where you say well why should i okay so i'm probably going to gift my sister this because she loves very heavy fragrances if she gets on with the dna i'm going to give to gift it to her if she doesn't then it's going to be one fragrance that i may maybe want to use on the curtains or the carpets or something like that but no pun intended if you love this dna guys i'm just saying for me it comes across as a bit stuffy thank there. you so much guys for joining me today let's meet in the comment section where we'll obviously discuss more about fragrances uh do check out my second channel guys if you haven't it's called seed chronicles unscripted Drop a subscription there if you can and turn on post notifications on both channels. That way you get to be notified anytime I upload a video. Now like and share this one guys and remember that smelling good is a form of good manners. Cheers.